on the road less traveled here sitting in the middle of the Salmon River, I want to lift a prayer up for you. I pray that you would know the richness of God's love and presence in your life. He is the God of life. He is the breath of life. And as you breathe, your lungs take in the presence, the very presence and power of God. If you don't believe me, read your Bibles. Or just get out here where nature screams it. But in this moment in time, wherever you're at, whatever your struggle, whatever your victory, (laughs) whatever your pain, whatever your shame, know this, that you cannot escape the presence of God. And I pray that you would sense that right now and as you draw in the next breath it would give you peace and strength to get through this day and to face tomorrow and that you would trust that the goodness of God would follow you like a never ending stream And that you would know God in the way that I've come to know Him and see Him in everything that lives. And that you would find the time to escape man's world and man's creation and see God. In some ways that's a big prayer, in other ways it is so simple. I pray that you will breathe the presence of God in in a way that you have never known or understood. And maybe you've never believed. But as you take your breath, we've lost it in translation, but literally the Bible says that He is our breath, He is our life. And as you draw in that breath, this life that fills your body and your lungs and your heart, know that God is present, not just with you, but in you. And by virtue of His presence, He knows your thoughts, your struggles, your secrets. And He loves you anyway. (laughs) Oh, man. May that give you peace and joy and security today. Worship Him. Breathe Him, know Him like you've never known before. This is my prayer for you. From the road less traveled. You know what I'm going to say. Get out there.